Hi, I'm Carlos Kinkis, Sporting Director of Kerala Blasters. The process was big, as we usually do. We interviewed over 20 coaches, one or two times. And, uh, and Michael, the ideas of him was re really refreshing to hear. And, and we believe that you know, it, will be, it will be a good choice for our team to, to try to, to take it to another level. So, so if we speak about football, Michael can express himself much, much better than me about him. But, but the ideas of, of, of vertical play, high intensity and, and all these modern things in, in, in nowadays football made us believe that, that he's the right choice. So as we presented to Michael and, and, and the team that now is the time for us to, to, to go to another level uh, and, and that's the idea and that's the challenge. What we need, obviously, we have to follow our our philosophy about about keep growing young players and and and, and looking a lot to the grassroots. Uh, so, but but obviously, uh, that was clearly communicated and, and clear expectations go to another level in many aspects, including uh, including results as well. Ah, it's Michael and his team. It's real professionals. They 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 work a lot. It's a pleasure to be. To be to be next to them and and you know not not much you can you can interfere because they know the job uh, unbelievably well so 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 it's real real professionals and and you know Kerala fans can be can be sure that team is in in, in very good hands. Okay. <coughs> so as always, time will show uh, where we are and and how successful signings are. Obviously, high expectations we have from Noah, who was one of the best players in the league. Yeah in the league last two seasons, so, so we're expecting him to continue in the same level and same way, at least. Uh, we refreshed goalkeeping department a little bit by adding Som and, and Nora, you know. Nor, uh, Som, I think, is one of the most highest potential players in the, around the country. So obviously everything in his hands and he has to, has to do a uh, job well. Nora also, we are, we are very happy with the first impression we're having. Uh, and also we add Amavia which again you know we speak more about potential and he probably will need some time to to do to do big impact but the the first impression we see it's very very positive so you always evaluate and always uh, appreciate people who do who do good good job in in the team and and obviously that's always a target to keep as much as possible people natural movements natural movements and uh <laughs> natural movements and uh Refreshment sometimes needed a lot, but if we speak about these these players which you mentioned, you know it's really uh, the asset to team to have in, in one or another roles. But but we are very happy that they they stayed. Yes, Luna is fighter, and uh, every club, every every sport organization need fighters, because at the end, this is the difference between good teams and and, and top teams. So obviously we, we really wanted Luna to stay and, and I'm happy he showed he showed same intentions and, and, and we reached agreement. So so really, really happy about about that and obviously he's uh, the respect he has around the team it's 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 huge and and I'm not even speaking about love from the fans, so I really happy he, he stayed and obviously he will have a big imp impact for us in upcoming seasons. Uh, these relations is, is one of the reasons and, and why why really enjoying this this work and, and, and being in the club. It's amazing people and we, we working day to day basis and yeah we are on the same page about things. We we want to have healthy functioning football club which is growing and going forward every every year. So so I really really enjoying this and, and really looking forward to continue. Yes. I think this thing about how many young players got promoted in first team, it's something what each of us should be proud about. I think it's a little bit underrated thing in, in uh, overall picture. Uh, obviously, credit goes to, to the players uh, because at the, end, at the end, no one pushed them. At the end, they are here because they are good. Uh, and obviously credit goes to, to our people in, in the reserve structure like, like Academy Director Rizvan, Head Coach of Reserve Thomas 
and all the other stuff which which is now not enough time to mention but everyone doing amazing job including younger team coaches and and it's i think it's about people it's about people and who doing amazing amazingly good job and and that's the that's the pleasure to continue in same way and i hope more and more uh high level players i would call we can we can soon get to to first team and and i would like also to encourage any any young player which we which we approaching approaching that we really we really care about development and we really care in in about about you guys so so we will continue same way and i really proud of how how efficient work we did in recent years about introducing these young players to first team uh too difficult shortly to answer such such thing there are many areas still what what, what we can do better uh at this moment we're trying to think to make things efficient as as possible uh in in youth level obviously with years every year we want to add some more quality in certain areas and and have and have better and better situation which which will help us to to produce more more players to the first team overall to ISL teams I league teams and and add them to the national team so so we will we will con- work with that with consistency and and I'm I once again I repeat myself that I am uh, very much grateful for people who who works in the club in in that youth sector because it's it's always all this is because of them Thank <laughs> you.